Hey everybody, in this lesson we're going to work on the break even tab that's part of Milestone 2. So just like we showed earlier, you go to the Milestone 2 section in, in the module and then you get this information and you will need the market research data and uh, if you need the project workbook is there and again here's your rubric and notice that you do need to show your work in some way. So let's go ahead and look at the milestone that we're going to work on. We're going to work on the break-even analysis. I already talked about the contribution margin. Now we'll talk a little bit more about this in detail but first of, first of all the sales price will already be filled out because it carries fr forward from whatever sales price you put here. So if you put um, that you decided you want to sell your collars for $30, notice how that carries forward into this area. Now you have to get your fixed cost. Now you just go to your fixed cost tab and for the collars the fixed costs are located here. Again a better method instead of just typing the number in is to hit equals, shoot over to the tab and then hit the cell you want and then hit enter and then it'll carry through so if it was uh, you know 600 whatever it is again I'm, I'm going to just use made up numbers for this then it would automatically populate if you did it that way if you just come in here and type in 600 that's great but what if you make changes over there then you're going to have to remember to come back over here and do that that's why we almost always tie our cells uh, when we make our, our spreadsheets in the real world. The contribution margin is going to automatically populate too. So whatever you came up with over here, you know, if you came up with uh, 21 or 22 in this case, then it would populate. So whatever you, when you finish this, this is already going to fill out these two. And now you need to do your break-even analysis. And this is where we're going to need to understand what break-even point is. See, break-even point is the minimum number of collars you need to sell to get to zero profit. In other words, another way of saying it is a minimum number of collars you're going to need to sell in order to cover all your costs. And that's an important thing in business because if you can't cover all your costs or if you need to sell an exorbitant number of collars to cover your costs, that kind of indicates whether or not your business is going to succeed or not or the risk that it won't succeed. And so this is a big number used in business for managers and for business owners and investors to, to understand the business. So the idea with break-even point, it's basically taking the fixed cost and dividing by the contribution margin. That's, that's the formula. So and I'll make up something. You know, let's say we were, we were going to sell um, dog biscuits, right? And the sales price will make up numbers. So the sales price will be you know, $30 and your fixed cost will be 3000 and your contribution margin is uh, 250 Then to do this, your break-even point is just taking the equals and take the fixed cost and divide by the contribution margin. And so you now you've got your formula there. Now in these cases always round up. So in this case we didn't have to round it all but let's say this was three thousand and two and this was two dollars and forty five cents notice how it comes to that we would have to sell one thousand two hundred and twenty five point three one bags of dog biscuits in order to break even well you can't sell point three one normally you would round down but if you round down you're not going to break even you need to round up now if you decide to just manually type in the uh, the number one two two six. The problem with that is that you, then you have to put your calculation below. So then you would have to put the calculation here. But there's actually a better way if you want to attempt it and learn a, a useful Excel formula. There's a function in Excel called round up, and it will round everything up. So what you do is you hit equals, and then you just type in round up, and then you do a parentheses, and then you put your formula in. So take this, divide it by that and then put a comma and then put how many decimal places you want to round up to and you only you want to round up to the nearest number of dog biscuits so you don't want any point anything you want it to be a whole number so you'll put zero here because you want to round up to zero digits and then that way it rounded up automatically for you that's pretty cool 
And uh, that's a great tool that you can use in, in different circumstances. All right, so what about target profit? So this would mean that we were targeting break even as a profit of zero just to cover our cost. But what if you wanted to target another profit? So $300 is the, is the profit they're targeting with the collars. But what if you wanted to target with the biscuits, I don't know, $1,000? We want to see how many dog biscuit packages we need to sell to, to make $1,000. So make sure you use parentheses and do your fixed costs. And then add your target profit that you want to get. So the sales needed to get a target profit and then divide by the contribution margin. That's your formula. Make sure you use the parentheses. But if you don't use the parentheses, then this will come out wrong. If your target profit's a thousand, if I take equals and then I open my parentheses and I put my fixed cost and then I add to it my target profit, close my parentheses and then divide by the contribution margin, then voila, I have how many dog biscuit packages I need to sell in order to make $1,000. Now, you can't sell 0.469 packages of dog biscuits, so you're going to have to round that up because you want to get to the, the minimum needed to make 1000 If you round down, you won't get quite to $1,000. So what do we need to do? Well, again, you can round it up here and then put the formula below it if that's the way you want to go. But a better way is to, again, add round up so you can just go straight into the formula and type in roundup, open the parentheses, make sure you open the parentheses again, and then put comma zero, because you want to go to zero digits, and then close your parentheses, and then it'll round it up for you. Note that if you continue to have trouble with the roundup function, try going to YouTube and seeing if somebody else has a video that maybe does a more clear job of explaining it for you because there's a lot of videos out there for Excel that explain these kinds of things and they don't take very long to watch and you can learn it that way. This is just a different target profit so it doesn't change anything except the fact that you would use 500 instead of 300. It's very important that you use the formulas or that you show your work in some way because that's going to impact your grade if you don't. Good luck!